Maine Med and Maine Health is a great place to work from top down. It captures the academic aspects of medicine in a large tertiary care facility, but also feels like you're treating the community. It sees really complex, high-level cases. At the hospital, everybody's very collegial, willing to have a conversation. Everyone's excited to come to work. We have an extremely diverse amount of patient pathology from head and neck and, and thoracic oncology patients, HPV positive or pharyngeal cancer. Our calling is primarily to take care of sick patients. It's a grateful group of people that we take care of. Everybody has their niche. It's really nice to have somebody who knows lung cancer or breast cancer really well or lymphoma really well and uh, can provide some expertise. Maine is the oldest and the most rural state in the nation. We wanted to develop a fellowship program that highlights care of cancer patients in a rural setting. We do outpatient general clinic and then we do a half day of clinic in the oncology group. It's a really collaborative working environment and everybody contributes equally to the team, which I think is very important. What brought most of us here is the opportunity to get engaged in education. We're all Tufts faculty, and we also teach Tufts medical students as well on service, mostly during clinical rotations. For diagnostic purposes, having to do procedures like bone marrow biopsies, we sometimes need to do lumbar punctures and administer intrathecal chemotherapy or access OMIA ports. And so there's plenty of opportunity for us to be doing those things. They'll be going to Mass General, where they'll have a month-long bone marrow transplant rotation. We are very excited about our increasing and building collaboration with Maine Medical Center. There are so many opportunities here to learn about transplant and cellular therapy. We have a month-long clinical research immersion course that we're planning for fellows to gain experience in pursuing funding. A lot of the research that we do is geared towards meeting a clinical need or answering a pressing clinical question. We're building things into our fellowship to support well-being, and I think that that's going to be a, a major priority. Everybody has interests outside of work and, you know, a lot of things that people have in common to talk about. There's time to actually have a private life. I came here on New Year's Eve for like a brief weekend trip during my fellowship. I went at sunset out to Fort Williams, and I had an epiphany that moment that I'm gonna move here. It was meant to be. There's so much stuff to explore here. There's things to do all year round. You're never that far from the beach in Maine. Hiking when we can, paddling, grabbing a bite to eat. I didn't garden a day in my life before coming here, but now it's like something I plan for all year round and have like a whole seasonal plan. I like cooking, I'm definitely kind of a foodie. It's just like a great place to live and everything feels within arm's reach. There's skiing for those who ski. There's the art museum. I go to the kids museum a lot because I have young kids. You're gonna be hard pressed to find a more dedicated group of clinicians and educators that allows fellows to basically have the training they need to pursue their dreams. I got a really exceptional education while being able to have a life outside of the hospital. I'm planning to never leave Maine. What we're looking for in a fellow is someone who fits in well with our group, excited about this field. Interested in making connections with patients and families and colleagues. I want a fellow that's going to be a partner and work with us to make it the best fellowship program in the country.